Here in the starter gears on this are pretty interesting. So basically the starter motor goes through there, runs the big one, the little one, the little gear on that, then turns on this, obviously that way, which starts your engine. Now when your engine takes over, this gear behind stops. Thought that was a pretty interesting setup. Ingenious. So I just gotta wait for a floor pull pulling now and take that off. So I'm just having a look at these starter sprag clutches. I've took the floor wheel off this one, that's that one there. And that is on the back, bolted to it. This one's off a different bike. And as you can see, there's pretty much the same. Three little bearings. They're similar to a drill clutch in that they've got like a, this is shaped, so it's bigger this side than this side. So when it's on the smaller side, it sticks out and it turns and that will grip onto this wheel. When it goes to the bigger side, it will spin freely and not touch that wheel. Let's see if we can put it on and let you have a look. I'll, put, I'll fit it on and I'll come back. So that's it, when it's on the wheel, as you can see, it will turn one way and go down to the bigger end, and then when you turn it the other way, it locks and turns the starter gear. So that's basically how they work. They're allowed to freely one go one way, but when they go the other way, the bearings grip the inner wheel and turn the starter ring, it's turning the engine over. The only reason they ain't turning the engine over now is because it isn't joined via the Woodruff key. So once the Woodruff key's on there and it was bolted to the floor wheel, it would turn the crankshaft. So that's it really. They're just a bearing. Bearing, check them for out of shape. If they're out of shape, it won't work properly. Your spring might get damaged or lost. And that's really all that can go wrong with it. Check that wheel for damage. Check the inside of there for damage and check these for wear and tear. It's the only problems that can go wrong with them, really. Fit them, you just pull them back. They've got little housings inside, so they go all the way back in. And then you just put the bearing in place. And that's it. I thought they might be a bit hard to fit these floor wheels with these on, but if you actually put them down and when you're about in place, turn it, they fit quite well. So, turning it and it makes it fit a bit easier.